gave myself a highlighter mustache. That's, that's attractive. Thank you. fingerprints right there um, I have not swatched this yet I have not touched it I might throw in swatches at the end of the video um, I just got this in yesterday along with the Morphe X Jeffree Star Starberry Spray which has a very interesting it's a very familiar smell it smells like I don't know something from somewhere that was real descriptive, Becca. Alright, so I think I'm going to do my base after I do my eyes. And I may hop off camera really quick. I'm sure that you all have seen this already, but I'm going to show it to you again. This is the palette that we are working with. It's very beautiful. Honestly, when I saw it, these shades here in this kind of section reminded me of the Alien palette, which I actually have and I can show you. And I might even, instead of just straight swatches of the palette, I might do comparison swatches between some of these shades and the Morphe palette. So this is the Alien palette right here. And just the kind of vibe, the colors are obviously very different and Jeffrey himself said that they were. Um, he said that his brand had never done anything like these shades in the Morphe palette before, but they are a little bit similar in tone with those weird greens that I love so much. So we might do some comparison swatches. And then I've even heard people say that some of these tones in here remind them of the Blood Sugar palette. Hang on, let me get it. Everybody has seen this palette, played with this palette, probably owned this palette. Um, but here are the tones in the Blood Sugar palette, and a lot of people say that the first couple rows of the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette reminds them of the Blood Sugar palette. Um, and, you know, I can kind of see it, so we might do some comparison swatches, see if I can figure out how to do that. Um, I think I might jump off camera and do one eye really quick, figure out what I'm doing. And then come back and do the other eye and my base and everything on camera with you. So I think that's actually what I'm going to do because I have no ideas. When I look at it, I really want to play with, um, where is it? With Calabasas. This color really speaks to me. I don't want to play with the glitter today, but we'll see if I end up doing that or not. Um, but I really want to play with Calabasas and this bright pink shade here. I think it's self-made, self-made. Um, and everybody's been doing the green thing, so I kind of also want to play with the greens. I don't know. Let me jump off camera, do one eye, and I will join you in one second here on YouTube land and like 45 minutes to an hour here in Becca land, and we will jump into this review. Okay, so I am back, and not only is this lash stabbing me, but this is probably worst makeup I've ever done in my life. Um... I have a kind of busy day tomorrow, so I'm trying to get everything in order, but I wanted to sit down and get back to filming, and I wanted to play with this palette, so I'm going to zoom you in. We are going to do the left eye. This is just a simple eye look. There's not a lot of colors. I think I used seven. I think I used seven. I'll probably use one more for an inner corner highlight, and I saw Make Me Up Miss I actually used one of these as an actual highlighter on my face, so I may do that. Um, Alright, so let me get you zoomed in and we can do this eye. Alright, so I am using the Anastasia Eye Base to prime. I've actually never used it. So many people love it. And this is what I prime the other eye with and all my shadows seem to go on fine on top of it. Um, I did hear a tip that you're only supposed to use a small amount and I did and it goes quite a long way. This is just a tiny little amount, and it covers pretty much all the concerns on my eye. So the first thing that I did was on this Morphe brush from the Grand Masters collection, I went in with the shade Honest Truth, and I used that all throughout my crease. So then I went in with Calabasas on the same brush, and I stamped that kind of in my outer corner and worked it a little bit through my crease 
And then I went in with the shade Boss Angelus. And I went on top of it. I kind of layered these two shades until I got them the way I wanted them on this outer corner. Just because I wanted this outer corner to be really dark. And I wasn't going to use black like I did on this eye originally. But I decided that that's what looked best. So I'm going to keep going in with both of those shades focused. Okay, I think that is good. So then the next thing that I did was I took this ColourPop E7 brush. Camera! Ugh. Anyway, it's a ColourPop E7 brush. It's just kind of like a packer brush. And I went into the shade Self Made and I put that all over my lid. And I really emphasize that color in the center of my lid. Alright, so after I did that, I did go back in with that original brush that we were using from the Morphe Grand Master set with nothing else on it. And I did make sure to try to blend those two edges out. And then I also, I'm just kind of redneck a little bit, and got the pigment off on my hand. And I went in back with the shade Honest Truth. And I just kind of put that around these edges anywhere I felt like I didn't blend great. And I'm not too worried about this section right here because we have not done my base yet. So I'm going to clean that up when I go in with concealer. And foundation and all that jazz. Alright. So then once I had that on there, I really didn't know where I wanted this look to go. Everybody's been doing kind of pink up here. Um, they've been doing, you know, pink up here and then green down here, and I didn't want to do that. Um, and Make Me Up Missa did a beautiful look similar to this. I drew a lot of inspiration from her, um, and she did a beautiful green lower lash line and just a dark black and pink up top. Um, but I really wanted to use the color Custom Rims, the silver, so that's what I put right here. So the next thing that I did is I went in with this kind of pencil brush. It's just an unnamed one from Morphe. And I went into the black in the palette called Fast Lane. And I really put that on my outer corner. And then I went back with this original Morphe brush. And kind of tried to soften those edges out from that black. And we're going to add a little bit more black because this glitter is going to kind of get in it. So I just touch that up until it is like I want it. And I keep going back and forth between those two brushes, trying to make sure, which I mean it looks messy, but trying to make it as least, least messy, less messy. Trying to make it semi-presentable and your lashes hide so many sins. Alright, so the next thing that I did is I just went in with my pinky and I took the shade Custom Rims, which is that beautiful silver, and I packed it right in the middle, and then with what was left on my pinky, I took it in, just so that shine could get all over here. Now the sparkles in this do get underneath your eye, but we can wipe that away later. And then I went back in with that brush and tried to hide the glitter in my crease as best as possible but this is one of those glitters that just kind of gets everywhere so once you do that go back in with this morphe pencil brush that we used for the black and take fast lane again and we're really gonna cut it across it's gonna get a little bit of glitter in it but honestly i don't mind that okay, and then i'm gonna take my finger again and i'm gonna go into the shade two and I'm going to put it just right on the inner and bring it up to meet that silver. Looks crazy, but with lashes, I think we're, we're going to save it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to clean up this fallout that's underneath my eyes. This is where we are right now. It's not a crazy complicated look. I'm not trying to use every color in this palette. I'm going to clean up this glitter that's underneath my eyes. I'm going to come back with my base on, show you what I did for my bottom lash line, put on a lip, and then we'll be out the door. Hey, okay, and we are back with my foundation, concealer, and powder on. And I really hope that you guys cannot tell on camera how wonky these lashes are. They are coming unglued in this inner corner here. And this one is just... I mean, there is just 
there's just no hope for it. It's like there's a big gap right here in the middle, so it's not like sitting on my lashes, but I'm tugging down and I'm stabbing it with this thing. And it is what it is. We're moving on. Um, so we are going to do my base products, my contour blush, highlight, all of that, and then I am going to do underneath of this eye, and then we're going to try out this setting mist, um, which has just an interesting smell. I've been trying to figure it out. I don't know. Um, I did order the brushes. They are not here yet. I ordered them separately from the palette and the mist because I wasn't sure if I was going to get the brushes, but the internet talked me into it. So I am going to do this bottom lash line. So I started out with, where's that brush? I think I was missing on my desk. I started out with that pencil brush that we used and the fast lane shade, the black in the palette. And I put that under my lash line. Mostly in this outer corner because that's where I wanted it to be dark and I have rubbed it off on this eye already because I'm a professional. Um, so I put it in this outer corner just to kind of connect that darkness with the upper eyelid area right there. So I started with that and then I took this ColourPop E1 brush and I went into the shade High Dude, which is the brown in the palette, and I really smoked out my lower lash line with that. And you can just leave it smoked out with this black and brown shade if that's what you would like to do. Or you can add the green on the bottom. I kind of smeared the green because I'm just the world's most professional makeup applicator. Alright, and then I went into the shade Nate, which is that really bright pop of green. And I focused it on this inner corner towards the middle. Try not to do it as crazy as I did it on the other eye. Much better. Once I had that done, I just again took my pinky and I went into the shade Drive Through, which is the gorgeous olivey green gold shade. And I just patted that right here on this first inner corner. And that is really all that I did for this lower lash line. So for inner corner, I'm going to grab, nope, okay, I'm going to grab a Morphe M321 and I'm going to spray it with the, just the OG Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and I'm going to pick up the shade Welcome, which is the very first shade in the palette and that is going to go on my inner corners. Okay. I don't even have my microphone plugged in. I just looked down and realized my microphone is not plugged in, so this audio might be real crappy, but you know what? <laughs> We're going to roll with it, because I am just sucking. Sucking today. So I'm going to go in with this Cover FX palette. I've been using this a lot recently. I got it in a boxy charm, and I'm just going to take this Wet n Wild contour brush, and I'm going to go in with this contour shade to make my cheekbones appear a little bit and then I'm going to I'm going to go into this benefit blush bar yeah blush bar palette and I am going to take the hula bronzer shade and just bronze my face a little bit I'm just gonna use the viewfinder because professional Alright, next I'm going to go with this Moda, I don't know, some kind of Moda brush again in a boxy charm, and then this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Diffused Heat, and that's what it looks like. It's not the pinkiest, most pigmented blush in the world, but I love the sheen that it gives me, just kind of like a healthy glow. And then I'm just going to take this illuminator brush I don't know who it's by I can't read it and we are gonna pick a shade in this palette to use as a highlighter um, 
I think I'm just going to use Welcome and try it as a highlighter. And if it's too light, I'll go on top of it with Designer Label. Good, good night. Good night. All right, so Welcome, if you're pretty pale, will work as a highlighter. It's not giving me any problems. Look at that nose, though. Look at that. Rudolph the Glowing Reindeer. Okay, and then just looking in the mirror that I have behind y'all, I don't see it giving me a cast. It might be, but it is a beautiful highlighter. I don't think I need to go in with designer label on top. Um, so I'm going to spray my face with the Morphe X Jeffree Star Starberry spray. So I like the smell. It's, it's definitely strawberry e. Definitely. Don't taste it. Don't taste it. Doesn't taste good. Okay. Um, and then I don't think I mentioned for lashes, I'm just using the Kiss Blowout Lashes. My dog is joining me. Um, the Kiss Blowout Lashes in Page Boy. I really like those, even though they're not working with me today. For eyeliner. I didn't even do eyeliner on my other eye. Great comeback, Becca. Great comeback. For eyeliner, I'm just using Jeffree Star Karma in my waterline. Okay, so mm, that is Jeffree Star Karma. It is just that khaki green color from his last Christmas collection. Um, then for mascara, I use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. You saw what all I put on my face, so now we just need to put on a lip. Let me haul the bag of lips over here. Um, I kind of want to use a Jeffree Star lip, and that's what is all in this bag. This is just full of um, Jeffree Star lipsticks, just to stick with the theme of Jeffree Star. And I think I might use... This might be too pinky. I think I'm going to use the one from his Jawbreaker collection in Fully Nude. It might be too pinky if it is. Who cares? I'm just going to wipe it off anyway. So, I've done nothing with my hair in probably three, four days. So just ignore it. It's fine. We're just going to leave it. We're just going to leave it messy. So this is the final look that I have done with the Jeffree Star X Morphe palette. I tried out the palette today along with the Starberry Setting Spray. Um, so my thoughts on this palette, I think it is wonderful. I used code JSTAR at checkout, which got me 10% off my brushes, my palette, and the Starberry Setting Mist. Um, I think that's a great deal. He's using it and going to charity. Um, he stated, I think in Twitter or in his Facebook video, that he was going to possibly be using some of the proceeds made from this code and using it towards foster care, and I think that that is wonderful. All of our foster babies need so so much support and anything that you can do to help them donating clothes donating money um volunteering becoming a foster parent is just wonderful so that really touched my heart and i'm just very excited that he's doing that um so i will definitely be playing around if there's any looks that you want to see leave a comment down below if you liked it if you hate it leave a comment like dislike i don't care this video um and i think that's it for now so i will see you guys in the next one bye